Hate it or love it, Facebook is still the most popular social media network in the world. And with over 2 billion active users, it's one of the best places to promote your business. One of the simplest and effective ways of doing that is with a free Facebook business page. If you've been thinking about building a Facebook page for your business, but were not sure where to start, stay tuned, as I'm going to show you how, step by step, so by the end of this tutorial, you have a fully fledged business page ready to generate some fresh leads. Hi there, if we're just meeting, my name is Luc Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips, and ways to help you promote your local business online step by step and click by click. On this channel, I cover everything any local business owner needs to know from search engine optimization to social media. My goal is to help you thrive online so you can drive more visitors to your business and ultimately make more money. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Finally, don't forget to check out the description below, which is where I put additional notes and links I refer to in this tutorial. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Step number one, setting up your page. Head over to facebook.com. Before we start, you need to understand you can't create a business page on Facebook unless you have a personal Facebook account attached to it. This is because Facebook requires every business page to have at least one administrator to manage the page and this is only feasible by tying a Facebook business page with a personal account. And before you ask, anyone seeing your business page will not be able to trace it back to your personal profile as they are two separate entities, so you can relax. If you haven't got a Facebook account yet, create one. It only takes a couple of minutes. If you already have an account, just log in to your profile. Once you've logged in, in the top blue ribbon, click on the Create link and select the Page option. This will bring you to a screen where you will be given the choice of creating your page between two categories. The first category is called Business or Brand. You should select this category if you are a business of any size or type that sells services or products. If you are a public figure, a musician, a sports team, a church group, or any kind of organization, you should select the second option, community or public figure. Since this tutorial is mainly targeted at local business owners, let's choose business or brand. The next step is choosing a name for your page. What you want to do here is to use your business name. Today I'm going to create a page for a fictitious hairdresser that I'm going to call Planet Hairdressing. The next thing you need to do is to pick the right business category that best represents your business. Just start typing what you think the category should be and select the appropriate one based on the suggestions. Add the address where your business is located. The phone number is optional, so it's up to you, but my recommendation would be to add it. Then click Next. You will then be asked to add a profile picture and a cover photo. Skip these steps for now. Your page is now set up and live on Facebook for everyone to see. At this stage, it looks very bare and doesn't really reflect your business at all. That's why I would recommend to unpublish it until we have finished creating it. Just go to Settings. In the General tab, choose Page Visibility. Click on Edit, select Page, Unpublished and click Save. Select the reason why you want to unpublish your page, click on Next, then click on Unpublish. Close the dialog box, then on the top left hand side, click back on the page link which will take you back to your newly created page. Time to move on to step number two, branding your page. The first thing we're going to do is add a profile picture to your page. Your profile picture will appear on every post or comments that you make across Facebook using your Facebook business page, so that's why it's a good idea to add your logo in there. The ideal size is currently at 360 pixels by 360 pixels. If you do not have any logo available but yet want to make your page look as professional as possible, here is a little tip you can use. Head over to a website called canva.com and log in using your Facebook account. Once logged in, on the left hand side menu, click on create a design and choose the custom dimension option. 
in the fields set the dimensions to be 360 and 360 so it fits the profile picture of your Facebook page perfectly and choose PX which stands for pixels then click on create a design this will take you to a design area where you can start making your logo by simply dragging and dropping elements directly on the canvas I personally love Canva.com as a tool and use it regularly because you can design pretty much anything very easily using their free pre-made templates and images. Using the search box, look for something in relation to your line of business. In this instance, I need a logo for my hairdressing salon, so I'm going to type hair. As you can see, there are quite a few options to choose from. I want something simple, so I am going to go for this one here just by clicking on it. Once on my work area, I can modify the elements by just clicking on them. Here, I just want to modify the background from black to orange. To do this, I just need to click on the background and modify the color using the palette accessible at the top. Each element can be modified in the same way, including the copy, so you can really craft something unique for your business. Once you're done creating your profile picture, click on the publish button on the top right hand side and download it on your computer. All you need to do now is load your profile picture on your Facebook page. Just go back to your Facebook page and hover on the profile picture. You should see an update option appearing. Click on it and select the upload photo option. Fetch your newly created logo from where you saved it on your computer, add a description to it and click save. Time to add a cover to our page. Let's follow the same process and go back to canva.com. This time we don't even need to specify the dimension because Canva has already set this up as a default design in its library. Just click on create a design and search for Facebook cover. Once again, choose something in relation to your business and modify it according to your needs. Try keeping the same colors and font so it looks consistent with your profile picture. Within Canva, you can also add images, which makes your work even more professional. Once you're done, go back to your Facebook page, click on the Add a Cover button, load your Facebook cover you just created in Canva, and save it just like your profile picture. For those of you who don't want to use Canva and need to know the exact dimensions of the cover photo, they are 820 pixels by 312 pixels. Our page is now looking a lot better and nicely fits with our brand. Last tip before we move on to our next step. If you click on your Facebook cover, you can add a description of the image, tag some people who are in it, add a link to your site and write comments. This can be particularly useful when people decide to share your cover as it will give you an opportunity to direct people to your website or simply give them more information. Step 3. Add a call to action button to your page. On every Facebook page, there is an option to add a call to action button located right below your cover photo. This is a great opportunity to encourage your visitors to take action such as visiting your website, make a booking, learn more about your business and overall help generate more leads and in return increase sales. To select the type of call to action you want to add, just click on add a button. You should see a list of categories you can choose from. Within each category, you have several options available. Browse through the various categories and select the most appropriate one for your business. In my example, I want people to call the salon directly to book a hair appointment, so I am going to choose the Contact Us category and the Call Now option, then add my phone number and save. Anyone tapping on this button from their phone will trigger a call to my business so I can schedule an appointment with them. Step number four, complete your business details. Very often, when you are searching for a local business in Google, one of the first results that comes up organically is a Facebook business page. This is because Facebook is so dominant that it will trump many other results in Google's organic search results, even your own website. That's why it's important you fill in all possible information on your page, as it is likely to be the first impression you will give to your visitors. The good news is, it's very simple to do. 
go to your page and on the left hand side menu select the about option if you can't see the option just click on see more that will expand the menu then select about right below your call to action button click on the link edit page info and fill in all your business details including a short description of your page your website address your business email address your opening hours and everything else that is blank still in the about section add your business story to give relevance and context to visitors who want to find out about you add an image some great copy with relevant keywords and another link to your website in there tip number five interact with your audience with automated messages one great thing about running a business page is that you can interact with your audience even when you are not online which is very useful when you are a busy local business owner first you can display a greeting message that people will see the first time they open a conversation with you on messenger to set this up just click on your page setting option on the top right hand side choose the messaging option and click on the jump to a section link next to the response assistant turn on the show a messenger greeting option and customize your message by clicking on the change button an example of the message your visitors will see automatically appears here change it to whatever you want you can customize it further and personalize your message by using the dynamic options in the copy which is a very nice touch let's choose first name option so anyone opening a conversation with you will receive the following greeting which includes their first name if somebody responds to the greeting and you're not available to start a conversation or answer their questions you can set up the response assistant functionality that will send instant replies to any message to set this up just click on the go to automated responses link switch on the instant reply button and click on edit to write your own message you can also automate some of the answers which is great once you're done, click on save and then on the top left hand side, click back on your page so we can move on to our next step. Step number six, configure your page menu. By default, Facebook will set up your page with a standard navigation menu on the left hand side. You can customize this upon your needs and your business type. Just go to your page settings and select the template and tab option. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of the default options available in your current menu. If I put my Facebook business page side by side with the menu settings, you can see what I'm talking about. To change the ordering, simply drag and drop the menu tab you want to move. Let's say I want the offer tab to sit right at the top to entice more customers. All I need to do is grab the component and drop it right at the top. Just refresh your page and you'll see the changes. Step number seven, time to publish your first post. Your page is now all ready to go. It's now time to start making the most of it and publish a few posts. But before you do that, remember, at the beginning of this tutorial, we made this page private, so it's time to make it available to the world. Go to your page settings once more, and in the general tab, select page visibility and click on edit. Tick the page published option and save changes. Go back to your page and publish your first post. Here is an example of a few posts I've published on my hairdressing page so it makes it look a little bit more alive. Once you've published a few posts and your page looks like it's active, it's time to move on to our final step. Step number eight, invite your friends and create a vanity URL. Facebook will suggest you invite friends to like your page. This is a good idea for three reasons. First, it will give your page an initial boost and help gather some momentum since you currently have zero followers. Second, your friends might share the page with their friends, which will amplify your reach. Third, when you reach 25 likes, you will be able to create what is known as a vanity URL. If you don't know what a vanity URL is, let me explain. Currently, your Facebook page is accessible via a unique address, just like a website. In our case, the address for our page is this. 
Unlike a website, this is very difficult to remember for anyone. You can, however, give your page an address that is much easier to remember, just like my own Facebook page, facebook.com slash ranking academy. This is what is known as a vanity URL. To do this, just click on the link called create a page at username under your profile picture. This will trigger a pop-up in which you can set up a memorable username and give you an easy to remember address of your page. In the username field, add your business name without any space and then click on create username. If you see a red message telling you you are not eligible, it is because you haven't reached 25 likes yet, so keep trying until you get there. To be honest, it's super easy. After that, your Facebook page will be 100% complete. That's it for today. You should now be all set and able to post on your brand new business page. But remember, Facebook is a social network and not a platform to flog your products and services. Engage with your local community, be helpful and respond to comments and questions and don't leave your page unattended for too long. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to post any questions in the comments below and press the thumbs up button if you feel like it. And until next time, happy marketing.